Initially in San Francisco, employers were very alarmed about this law. Um, some of what we're hearing in New York sounds very familiar. Um, particularly we heard from restaurant owners and um, temporary staffing agencies that, uh, of their concerns. Those were sectors that tended to have no experience with paid sick leave. Um, it was common that they would assume that the full amount of accrued time would be used. They were concerned about how to address abuse of paid sick leave. I really um, feel comfortable reporting that the implementation has been very smooth. Um, not all the days are taken. There's been no reports of rampant abuse. Um, and our experience is consistent with the results of the surveys that you've heard about. Um, that, um, you know, I think the study showed that even though more than five or nine days are available, that it's between three and four days that are taken, even in San Francisco with the paid sick leave ordinance, that low wage workers and workers of color tend to be the, the workers most likely to benefit, um, and that um, most businesses have been able to implement the paid sick leave ordinance with minimal impact. Um, in five years that the law has been in effect, our office has received 265 complaints. That's an average of 4.3 complaints a month. By way of comparison, the most recent quarterly census shows 557,000 workers in San Francisco. Um, I know it's significantly less than New York, um, but it's a, we're a real city. <laughs> and we have very similar sectors of types of businesses that New York has. The, the complaints are generally fairly easy to resolve. They don't involve a large amount of money. We were able to easily incorporate enforcement of paid sick leave into our enforcement of minimum wage, and we actually hired no additional staff to enforce the paid sick leave ordinance. We believe that paid sick leave is good public policy. It's good for workers, it's good for employers, and it's good for public health. Um, how have the chambers responded now that the law is implemented in general? Both the Golden Gate Restaurant Association and the San Francisco Chamber of Commerce um, have been quoted, I believe, in various places as saying that this law is certainly less onerous than some of the others, and uh, I think they've gone so far as to say that this law is good, they believe is good public policy that businesses can live with.